Hey, what is up, guys? Oblivious here. Today, we're going to be discussing the specialist uh, skill, like score streak loadout in Black Ops 3. Because, as you know, Black Ops 3 is going to be coming out before you even know it. And the beta actually comes out, I think it's like towards the end of August. And it's only actually out for five days. But I'm going to definitely be like getting a lot of gameplay from that and stuff like that. And there's a lot of like, you know, new things going around about like different like aspects of Black Ops 3 after people went to like GamesCon and stuff like that and got to play the game and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be discussing the six specialist score streak like characters you can unlock. Like basically you get in the game, you can level up your actual like your level. You can level up guns, but and then you can also level up uh, apparently like your specialist character who are six different people who all have like. Diff they're like a completely different thing they have like a background info they're like like one of them i know is like he's like australian or something like that one of them's kind of like a jungle like scavenger survivor man and stuff like that and you can upgrade uh, upgrade these people and like they all have their certain like s uh, like they either have a special weapon or a special ability that you can pick that you want to use before the game and we're going to jump into them and i'll show you like a picture of the characters on the screen at the same time so we're going to start out with the reaper who has a minigun he's like a robot kind of thing he has a, a minigun that you can do as the weapon and then uh but the way you unlock all the um the specialist things is that it's kind of like destiny in that it goes like over time like you don't actually have to do like amazing you kind of just have to play to unlock them so basically you're going to get at least like one or two a game but if you do better you unlock it quicker so and then i and then i think you might get like however like say i know like say if you get the gun you might get like uh like a minute with it or something like that and it, but it also has ammo some of the weapons also have ammo so you can't just use them forever for like all like the minute or whatever you get them for and there's like a cooldown and stuff like that and obviously so the reaper has a halo like i consider it a halo decoy basically it's like where you send out a copy like a few like i think it's three copies of yourself in like a line and then they like i obviously it's supposed to just be a decoy of the enemies like they're supposed to shoot at them and you're supposed to just like kind of get off scot-free but apparently the good way to utilize it is that if you send all three out and you yourself also go out like kind of just walking in a straight line not shooting making it seem like you're a decoy people will like just let you pass because they won't like really think that you're obviously a real a player and they'll just let you go and then you can like flank behind them that could be a great great play and the minigun is apparently just really really good this is actually a, a nerfed set of the reaper because i think originally it had the uh, psychosis or the glitch thing or something like that but they gave it to another character because they thought it like having a minigun and that would be super 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 overpowered so now they have um the next one is the prophet he has like he has as i said the psychosis thing which is like time travel where you go back like two seconds so you can go back to a previous position on the map like i think it's like two or three seconds before or something like that and then there's also the lightning gun i think it's called the tempest and it's basically like a, a wonder waff and zombies if you can imagine that like you can shoot one guy and then if people go near that guy while he's sh being shocked it'll also shock them and then you can get like probably po like possibly like up to like a triple or a quad kill it'll be really cool to see what people can do with that kind of weapon but um next is the nomad who has he's like the guy i was talking about who's like a jungle like survival specialist and stuff like that he has the hive gun which is like a nano swarm mine launcher and then he has the reject which is basically kind of like it kind of reminded me of like a uh, second chance or uh, whatever it's called like last stand or something like that so like as you're falling down you can tap like rb and lb or whatever and you got you're kind of going to this like second chance like life thing you can get back up off of it but and then there's also the hive gun which is apparently the thing that pisses a lot of people off because they think it's like super just it's not like overpowered it's just super annoying because you can shoot these like little these like as i said like nano swarm mine things all over the map like there the clip in the trailer actually was literally him just firing this hive weapon into like a clouded area at like a flag or something like that and it was literally just like racking up the kills like they kind of just like stick to something and if you walk near them these little like locust swarm like these red little locust swarm thing comes out and kind of eats you alive and stuff so it's pretty it's pretty graphic but it, it looks like it's going to be pretty good i probably won't be using it because i feel like it's too slow it doesn't really help you immediately you might like shoot it and then i don't think it stays on the map forever either it just goes away after like a minute but or something like that but so i mean like you might not get a kill you probably will get some kills because it does look really good next is ruin who has if you, you if you watch the trailer you definitely will notice it he has the gravity spikes and overdrive which is like kind of just a move faster which basically reminds me of the stim exo and advanced warfare but um he has the gravity spikes where you do this big old jump and you slam down these like yellow gravity gravity spikes and it just creates like a huge like earthquake shockwave beneath you thing and just kills a bunch of people like in a pretty large radius i would say because that was it, the, the clip looked pretty crazy it, it looked like it did a hell of a lot of damage and the overdrive doesn't really seem like it's like you're not going to only pick the overdrive for a whole game as your um as your specialist thing so um next is seraph who has the annihilate which is basically the golden gun from destiny if you know what i'm talking about where it shoots like i think you get like three or four bullets with it and you can shoot and it's like a one shot it looks really really good this one actually might be the one that i use and then the uh the 
uh, the special, like kind of like a perk thing you can have with it is the combat focus, which is like a score streak boost apparently, which is like it just helps you get your other score streaks faster because you can also use you can use these specialists like every game, but you also have like assault kill streaks and stuff like that too. And apparently it just helps you give like a, a incre- like a very good boost to your score streaks. The next one is called the Outrider, and that is the Sparrow, which is you if you did watch the trailer you'll definitely see it because it looks fucking awesome. It's the like the compound crossbow that shoots like explosive rounds and like however like long you hold it in is how fast it shoots and how long it will shoot and stuff like that and the other um the perk for him is the vision pulse which is kind of just like it pings your uh your radar and you can kind of see where enemies are and stuff like that so all these look really good out of all of them the reaper i'm probably gonna use just because of the minigun usually miniguns in every game are pretty good the the prophet apparently is one of the better ones just because he has like that wonder waffle weapon and the psychosis is really fun to use and apparently very good like it's obviously it can be very strategic in like certain situations the hive gun the nomad and the hive gun and all that stuff i'm probably not going to use i hear that one's kind of just annoying because literally it's second chance and putting like like things that explode when you go near them all over the map which is like the two things everyone hates about call of duty so Ruin, I'm probably not going to use that much. I mean, the gravity spikes might come in handy, like, but you only get, like, a, I don't know how many slams you really get with them every time you unlock them, but it doesn't really seem like you would get that many. Seraph, I'll probably use because the Annihilate, like, the Annihilation Combat Pistol thing looks fucking awesome. And, like, the combat focus is decent, but, I mean, I'll definitely be using the the, uh, the one-shot, like, Magnum Revolver thing. And the Sparrow, with the, I'll, I'll definitely try, the like, the crossbow with the, um, uh, not the crossbow, the, the compound bow with the Outrider, but mostly I think I'll be using the Reaper, the Prophet, and probably Ser- Seraph. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but I think it's Seraph. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please avoid like rating. If you're really excited for Black Ops 3 like I am, I am so fucking excited just because I basically played a whole year without really playing that much Call of Duty because I fucking hate the game. I don't, I, mean, I always say I hate it. I don't really hate Advanced Warfare. It just kind of got boring after a while just playing with like super hard people all the time and stuff like that who are like basically tryhards like me. And I can't wait for Black Ops 3. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please avoid like rating. Subscribe to see more Black Ops 3 content. Have a great day and goodbye.